So what is a smart tech review? Building on what we've learned from our IBE activities, a good smart tech review is a great step to take before you start specifying any replacement technology, okay? And remember, that IBE really serves as a guiding reference that can really help you identify uh, areas of risk and priorities that you need to focus on and to start moving forward. So as you start evaluating technology, use that IBE to kind of guide, on, guide you to where you should focus, right? So great opportunity to get some inspiration going with this smart tech review too and thinking through the smart device planning. And what you really need to do here is get your vendor community involved. So when you get these vendors involved, I'll give you a few things to think about to move forward and to make the most out of that time spent together. First of all, share summary data from your IBE with appropriate vendors. You'll, you took the time to collect that information. Now share what makes sense and then request recommendations on particularly like replacement options that you would have. So I have this line of drives. What replacement options do I have for this line of drives? You don't have to do all that work. Get your partners to work with you there. And then start thinking about hands-on demonstrations. Okay, so when? Now, you expect that you, you ask for that hands-on demo. What should you expect? Here are a few things. You need to be very aware that you know, vendor demos can get very commercial very quickly. So you need to define the expectations. And I want to give you three areas to think about there. Number one, functional performance. What does the equipment need to do? Stay focused on that. Do not forget it. Number two, what data do I need? Because remember, you're, doing, you're on your journey to smart manufacturing. You need to know what data is going to, that you need that's going to help you achieve your goals. Number three, what diagnostics do I need from this technology? So just keep those in mind, the, the performance, the data, and the diagnostics. That's really important areas. Now, number three when it comes to actual getting that smart tech review. You'll want explicit demonstration of how that device will be integrated into your control system. So you have to get pretty technical here. Things to think about are connectivity, the setup, i.e. the programming that's going to be involved, and the maintenance. So yeah, it, you may have to get into the weeds, but get into the weeds now before you specify equipment that's just not going to work. So figure those items out, and the vendors that, that are on the, the cutting edge, they're going to be able to walk you through that. With a little advanced notice and planning, that smart tech demo is such a powerful step that you can take, and it's going to get those creative juices flowing, and it's going to help you identify what are the best options you have to move forward on your smart manufacturing journey. Good luck and get to reviewing that smart technology.